Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to fix any Discord high latency issues on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to clear the app cache. So to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type run and select it as an app from the search results. Now in here, simply copy paste the following path that I will also post in the description below, then click on OK. Now what you have to do in here is double click on the cache data folder, select everything, then press on the shift and delete button to permanently delete these items. And click on yes to confirm and then you're good to go. Afterwards, just restart your app and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to turn on the hardware accelerator option. Now to do this, open up an instance of your Discord app, then simply click on the gear icon, which is the user settings, and in here scroll down until you find the app settings section. Now click on advanced in this section, and afterwards make sure to toggle on the hardware acceleration option. Then you can just restart the app and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to disable the quality of service feature. Now to do this, once again, you have to have Discord open, then head over to your user settings gear icon, then under app settings, once again, click on voice and video. Now in here, simply scroll way down until you find the quality of service option and then make sure to enable this option. Once again, restart your app and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to simply reinstall the Discord app. To do this, press the Windows button, head over to settings, now click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side, click on installed apps. Now in here, in the search apps box, simply type Discord and afterwards click on the three dots next to it and select the uninstall option. Now once the app is uninstalled, just make sure to reinstall it and then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.